Okay, before you start thinking, this is not some sort of special effect. This is not a hack. This is an actual glitch that I found in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. While I was goofing off play playing around the game, trying to catch up to my stream, uh, I kind of broke it, sort of, as you can see. I walk backwards, I don't, I don't fly in the correct position, the camera doesn't move at all, well, slightly. And technically, this is this is kind of something I like to call lock on. Well, if no one else has found it, I would like to call it lock on glitch. I would, um, I call it that because in a moment here, I'll explain how how to actually do this glitch because I was actually able to recreate it. But generally, what it does is. Keep your camera in place at all times after a battle, and there's generally no way to fix this. Um, there is, but not without going out to the world map or going back to the title screen. Like I tried flying around trying to find an enemy to, to fix it, tried to shoot out key blasts, I even tried to go censoring um, energy, but none of that fixed it, and there's no enemies to fight. so. Yeah, that kind, of, that kind of broke things. Uh, but yeah, I do go out to the world map, try to see if I fix it, and then it kind of did. It, well, not kind of. It absolutely did. Voila. All back to normal. The camera is not locked on. I can move around, go on, just moves correctly instead of walking forward while moving backwards. And I'm moving to the side to side, move my camera around, and everything is working fine. So to actually do this glitch is actually really, really simple. All you need is to be in a battle, fight an opponent that has a beam attack, fire your own beam attack if it's able to clash, win it, and then after the after that last enemy is dead, you'd want to pause the game at the right frame. You can mash it if you want to. I did that. And then when you see the pause menu being all faded white as it is now, then you've got the you've got the glitch right. Well, the reason why I call it a lock on a, a camera lock glitch is because the camera is technically confused and still locked on to the same enemy that you basically just killed. And also the enemy doesn't go away. You can turn off the lock the lock on on the enemy if you want to. But as soon as you turn that off, you're stuck in the position in one position for ever um, until you go out to the world map. But uh, I didn't notice it the first time I did this glitch. But uh, apparently the enemy never fades away, and you can't really hit them or do anything about it. All you can do is just move around them. Uh, yeah. That's all the glitch has to provide, it's just vi visual and horrible controls. It's, the, it's, literally, it's actually the worst tank control that can ever fill. And hold, holding back moves you forward either way. Holding left or right will move you forward. The only way you can move back is jumping, and anything else just moves you forward. Yeah, that's all this that's all this glitch has to provide. If you guys are actually watching this now around the time that it came up, I'll be actually streaming tonight at uh, 8 p.m. Central Time. I'll be I'll be live streaming more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, and this time we're moving on to the Boo Saga, so we might be able to get to see at least Majin Vegeta. I'm not sure about Super Saiyan 3, but let's hope. It's a three-hour stream, so. Join if you want. Bye.